video is on normal distribution in today's video the problem is in an examination it is laid down that a student passes if he scores 40 percent or more see here the student passes if he secures 40 percent or more he is placed in first second and third division accordingly as he secures 60 percent or more 50 to 60 percent and 40 to 50 percent respectively for the first class he has to secure 60 percent or more for the second division between 50 to 60 percent and third division 40 to 50 percent he gets distinction in case he secures 70 percent or more so for distinction he secures 75 percent or more it is noticed that 10 percent of the students failed and 5% got distinction. So this is the data given. And we have to calculate the percentage of the students placed in the second division. So this is what we have to calculate. See here, the whole data is given. And see in the question, see here. So for passing, he has to secure more than or equal to 40%. For the first division, more than or equal to 60%. For second, in between 60 to 50 to 60%. And for third division, 40 and 50%. In between 40 and 50%. Distinction is more than or equal to 75% and failure less than 40%. So this is the data from the question. So it is noticed that 10% of the student failed. So, the failed percentage is 10%. It is given that 10% of the students failed and 5% got distinction. See here, 5% got distinction. Now, we have to calculate the percentage of the students placed in the second division. See, this is what we have to calculate. So, this is the question and it is very clear. And now, we have to draw the normal diagram. See here, normal distribution curve. So, this will be... So, this is the normal distribution traps to plus infinity and this to minus infinity as usual. So, this is x is equal to x is equal to mu, mu. and c for distinction. So, he should secure more than 75%. So, for x is equal to 75 more and more. So, there are how many candidates are there? 5% candidates who got distinction and see here the fail, failed candidates are 10 percent see here so it should be less than 40 see here for x is equal to 40 they are failed candidates are 10 percent see here so failure candidates secured less than 40 percent and the distinction candidates should attain more than 75 percent so, this is the graph and see here half of the curve is 0 0.5. So, this is 0 0.5. 10% is nothing but, see here, 10% is nothing but 10 by 100. This is 0 0.1 and 5% is nothing but 5 by 100. This is 0 0.05. See here, half of the graph is 0 0.5. If I subtract 0 0.1, the value here is 0 0.4. And similarly, half of the graph is 0 0.5. If I subtract this 5%, that is 0 0.05, the value here is 0 0.45. See here. So, this is what we have to calculate. See, this is the normal graph. See, in between the curve. See, from the data, what is given? So, 10% of the students failed and 5% of the students got distinction. So, x is equal to 40 here x is equal to 75 and we have to represent uh, the mean as mu and the standard deviation as uh, sigma sigma for standard deviation now let's get started to find out the mu value and the standard deviation value from the question see here what is from the data or from the figure see here so what is given so it is given that the probability of x less than 40 are how many students failed here 10 percent of the students failed and see here the probability that the students who got more than 75 percentage is 5 percent 5 percent see here when x is equal to 40 see here when x is equal to 40 what will be the z value so z is equal to x minus mu by sigma 
So what is our x value? So x value is nothing but 40 minus mu by sigma as it is towards the left side of the ordinate. See here, here x is equal to 40 is towards the left side of the ordinate. Therefore, we have to represent as minus z1 and this is equation number this is equation number 1. And see here, when x is equal to 75, see here, when x is equal to 75, what is our z value? z is equal to x minus mu by sigma and which is equal to the value here is 75 minus mu by sigma. So, this is towards the, what is x is equal to 75 is towards the right side of the ordinate and so we have to represent in a positive way that is z2 say so this is equation number two so now see here we got two equations so what are those that is 40 minus see here 40 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1 and next is 75 minus mu by sigma is equal to this is z2 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 see here from the figure so we have a figure here from the figure or from the diagram see here so this is the diagram so 10 percent got less than 40 and 5 percent got more than 75 so from the figure see here in between so the probability or the area in between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to z2 is nothing but that is probability of see here probability of 0 less than less z less than z2 so the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to z2 is nothing but 0 0.45 0 0.45 now we have to find out from the table z2 value from the table what will be the z2 value see i'll show you 0 0.45 so this is the area under the standard normal curve so 0 0.45 is needed see here we have 0 0.45 here and nearest to 0 0.45 here so which is nearer to 0 0.45 so this value is uh, nearer this is 0 0.4505 and this is 0 0.4495 so i'm choosing this one so the value here is 1.6 under 4 so this will be 1.64 64 and next from the figure so, the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 from the figure is 0 0.4. So, the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 from the figure is 0 0.4. And now, from the table, what will be the z1 value? So, the z1 value is equal to, see, I'll show you, 0 0.4. See here. So, from the area graph, so this is 0 0.4. So, this is 0 0.4 and this is also 0 0.4. So, the value nearer to 0 0.4 is this one. So, this is 1.2. See here, 1.2 under 8. So, this will be 1.28. Clear? This is 1.28. Now, I got the values of z1 and z2. Now, I will substitute in equation 1 and 2. See here, the equation 1 is nothing but 40 minus mu. See, I'll show you this is 40 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus. What is the value of z1? This is 1.28. And see here the second equation that is 75 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2. What is our z2 value? This is 1.64. Now, so this will be equation number 3 and this is equation number 4. So, on solving 3 and 4, on solving See, I'll show you how to solve. So, if I cross multiply these, so this will be 40 minus mu is equal to minus 1.28 into sigma and this is 75 minus mu is equal to this is 1.64 into sigma. So, if I want to cancel these or I'll subtract these. So, this is minus and this is plus and this value is minus. See here, plus and minus. So, so, we can easily cancel these two. 75 minus 40 is 35. So, for bigger number, this is minus, minus 35. And this is minus, this is 2.92 into sigma. 
and now the sigma value is equal to minus 35 by minus 2.92 so if i cancel or use the cancel so if i cancel the negative sign so this is 35 divided by 2.92 the value here is 11.986 so this is 11.986 30 so approximately the value here is 12 for sigma the value here is 12 now i need the value of mu now i am going to substitute this value in equation 1 see here for sigma we got the value as 11.986 so if i substitute in this equation or equation number 3 so this is 40 minus mu is equal to minus 1.28 into sigma. So, if I substitute the value of sigma here, I will be getting the mu value. That is 40 minus mu is equal to minus 1.28 into sigma is 11.986. Therefore, the mu value is equal to 40 plus this is 1.28 into 11.986. Therefore, the mu value is equal to, see here, this will be 40 plus 1.28 into, this is 11.986. See, it is approximately 55 point, see here, this is 55.34208. So, our mu value is approximately 55. So, we got the value of mu as 55 as uh, and sigma and sigma value is 11.9. So, which is approximately 12. After getting the mu value under the standard deviation value, what is it we have to calculate? So, from this data we calculated the mu as well as sigma and see I will show you the question here. So, with this information 10% of the students failed and 5% got uh, distinction with these information. We calculated the mu value. See here, the mu is equal to 55 and sigma value is equal to 12. So, with this information, we have to calculate the percentage of the students placed in the second division. See here, in second division, what is the percentage in between 60% and 40%, 50% and 60%. So, we have to calculate the percentage in second division. See, according to the second division, so, we have in between 50% to 60%. See here, when x is equal to 50, see here, when x is equal to 50, what will be the z value? So, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, what is our x value? x is equal to 50, mu is nothing but 55 by sigma value is nothing but 12. See here, this will be 50 so, this is 50 minus 55 divided by 12. The value here is minus 0. Point. See here, this is approximately equal to minus 0. 0.42. So, this is when x is equal to 50. When x is equal to 60, see the value. So, z is equal to z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, what is our x value? x value is a 60 minus 55 by sigma is 12. See here, so this is nothing but 60 minus 55 divided by 12. The value here is 0 0.16 same value that it is 0 0.42. Again, the value here is 0 0.42. So, negative and positive. See here, I'll, I'll show you the figure here. And see, if you see the normal variate here. So, the normal variate for the second division here is. So, this is the normal graph. And see here, as usual, this will be x is equal to mu. And see, for x is equal to, for x is equal to 50. And this is x is equal to 60 in terms of z. So, this will be z is equal to 0. See here. So, this is z is equal to 0. So, for 50, see here. For 50, the value here is minus 0 0.42 and this is plus 0 0.42. So, this is minus 0 0.42 and here the value here is plus 0 0.42. This is z2 and this is z1. So, in between the area is needed. So, this is area a1 and this is area a2. So, this is A2 area and this is A1 area. So, we need the number of the students in between 50% and 60% and therefore, 
we have to calculate the probability in between. So this is the probability that the student secured in between 50% and 60%. So in terms of Z, if I write, so this can be written as probability of minus 0 0.42 less than Z less than 0 0.42. See here. So this is nothing but area A2 plus area a1 that is 0 0.42 plus the area minus 0 0.42. So by symmetry we can e even use the negative sign as a positive as it is the area that is 0 0.42. See here so area for 2 times so this is 2 times of area of 0 0.42. So you are using this table 0 0.4 under 2. This is 0 0.4 under 2. 0 1 2. This is 0 0.1628. So, the value here is 0 0.1628 and therefore, so this is nothing but 0 0.3256. This is 0 0.3256 and 25 approximately equal to 0 0.33. See here, 0 0.33 and hence, see here, hence or 0 0.32 if I close like this. So, hence. 33% candidates 33% candidates get second division second division in the examination in the examination so this is how we have to show and uh, this is also so simple to understand thank you so much for watching